Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create presentation process infographic in PowerPoint. The beautiful infographic you will learn to create today it looks like this. On a click, you will have the first event occurring and then the second one, the third one and the fourth one. You can use this to talk about four steps in a process or you want to talk about four terms and their definitions. You can use it the way you want. If you don't want to use these icons, you can of course always replace them with numbers like this. It's a very attractive looking infographic and it has a lot of uses in any presentation. Let me show you how to create this beautiful infographic from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I am going to do is to create a prototype of this particular unit here. Once I have that unit created, I can make copies of it and arrange it one below the other to complete the infographic. So let us create this single prototype unit now. The first thing I am going to do is to go to Auto Shapes Gallery and the shape that I am going to use is under Basic Shapes and it is called as Parallelogram. I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to draw a long parallelogram like this. You can of course always change the angle of the parallelogram by using this yellow adjustment handle here. So let us keep it this way. That is pretty nice. Now I'm going to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to reduce the size and I'm going to increase the height like so. So I'm going to keep it like this. So it looks as if this piece is coming from this one. And to ensure that there is a proper alignment, I'm going to select both these pieces, go to Arrange, Align, and I'm going to say Align Middle. The next thing I'm going to do is to add a small triangle that you see here, and that gives the illusion that this is folded. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes Gallery once more, I'm going to pick up this simple isosceles triangle and I'm going to draw the triangle like so and then let me go to arrange, rotate and say flip vertical and then I'm going to place it like this. And you don't really have to bother so much about keeping everything in a proper order here because once I send this back, you can see that this piece automatically looks like it is proper and this piece looks like it is folded. So we don't really have to be very accurate there. And I'm going to give this a darker color compared to the color that we see here. So we are going to use the same blue color here. So I'm going to go with a darker blue color, the one that is in the fourth one called as blue accent one darker 50%. And let us remove the outline. So this is how it is. And this one we are going to give a nice gradient. So let me go to shape fill, go to gradient and I'm going to give a gradient like this, which is linear down to differentiate this from this piece here. Next, I'm going to give a gradient for this one. I'm going to select this, go to shape fill gradient and I'm going to use this one called as linear left. And you can see that it is darker here and it is going to the lighter hue, indicating that this bit is actually covered by this piece here and there is more light coming here. Nice. The next one is to add a bit of sheen. As you can see here, the sheen makes this look really beautiful. So I'm going to take this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'm going to go to shape fill and I'm going to give it white fill color. We already have removed the outline, so we don't have to bother about it. I'm going to reduce the size slightly by holding the shift button down and slightly making it smaller. And I'm going to place it over here. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to place this precisely. And then I'm going to right click, go to format shape, go to fill, and I'm going to increase the transparency to the point that it looks like sheen here. So I am really increasing it to say around uh, 40 or maybe around 45%. Next, I'm going to cut this down somewhere over here. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw the rectangle somewhere closer to the half point. And then I'm going to select this and then hold the shift button down as I select the rectangle. Then go to Format tab, go to Merge Shapes and say Shape Subtract. And now this looks like a beautiful sheen element on top of this uh, placeholder here. Next, we need to write our text here. 
I prefer to use two separate text boxes, one to write my subtitle text and the next to write my basic content. I'm not going to show you how exactly to do that because you know that already. I'm going to just copy this piece here and this piece here, press Ctrl C to copy it and then I'm going to go to this uh, slide here and press Ctrl V to paste it and I'm going to place it here. Then I'm going to place an icon here. So let us go to insert. If you are using Office 365 subscription, then you have access to these icons readily available. If not, you can always get icons from any of your favorite sites. Let me take this icon here and I'm going to insert and I'm going to place it here. If required, I can always increase the size of this to something like this. Now, once it is done, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to press Ctrl G to group it. Now, once you've got this piece ready, then you can always make multiple copies and arrange them in an interesting fashion. For example, I can select this, press Ctrl D to make a duplicate and then let me go to arrange, rotate and say flip horizontal. I can arrange this in such a way like it forms an arrow kind of a shape here. Can you see here the end point here? corresponds with the end point of the previous placeholder. I can always add more of these elements by selecting everything, pressing Ctrl D again and then moving them down so that I can have maybe four of them available and I'm going to select everything by pressing Ctrl A and I can move it slightly up. Now I have four pieces ready. At any point of time, if I want to replace any of these icons, I can always select the icon, right click, go to change graphic from icons and I can choose a different icon. Maybe this time this person and I'm going to say insert. Can you see here? We can make any alteration the way we want. We can choose any color for the text placeholder. You can choose any color for the font. It is entirely up to you to design it the way you feel fit. The infographic that you saw just now is extremely versatile in its application. I want to show you some creative infographic alternatives taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. As you know, this bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to convert any boring text-based slide into clear and compelling visual slide in a matter of minutes. The first example I want to show you is this one where we talk about three key points to highlight. On a click, I have the first subtitle and the associated text shown and then the second one and then the third one. Another example is this one where we show three designer text boxes. The first one shows like this, the second one and the third one. The next one is this where we have three different points showcased like this. Another example is this one with advanced custom animation applied. As you can see here, the text is not very visible. On a click, I bring the attention of the audience to the first point and then on a click, I bring the attention to the next point, to the next, to the next, and to the next. An interesting alternative to this is this one with sliding highlight between numbers. On a click, we have these boxes coming, and then we have the first point revealed, and then on a click, the attention is brought to the next point, and then that point is revealed. So that is how this infographic works. And all this is already applied and you don't really have to do anything if you want to use a beautiful infographic like this in your presentation. You just need to pick this template, replace the sample text with your own text and the slide gets ready in no time, complete with advanced custom animation. Another example is this one where we have six different points very beautifully showcased. If you want even more number of points showcased, you can have something like this where we have 10 key things that is shown and each one of these points looks really attractive and this can come in quite handy if you want to talk about some checklist kind of slides. Another example is this one which has 12 point checklist. You can see here it is a really attractive looking slide and all these are ready made available in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and find out how this product can change the way you create your presentations. Finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, you can click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. The tips that I share are simple and practical and you can use them in your next presentation. So click on the link, join the newsletter and I will see you in the next video.